All right, here we are back at the digital job site with this third part in creating a pendant light fixture in the first two sessions, two sec video segments. We created this shape that's going to be a globe or a, a bell for a pendant light fixture. And if you've done much work at all with SketchUp uh, and looked at the materials, you know there's when you go to select, there's uh, one of the materials you can choose is called translucent. And uh, it works pretty cool for glass. So we're going to put a translucent texture on this globe here. And let's just pick one that there's one there. It's got some little spots. This is the one I used on the pendants that you saw at the beginning of the first clip. However, you'll notice that this has a whole different look to it. It's all uh, little squares. And if you go to Hidden Geometry and show that, you can see that each little square is painted with a splotch of this texture and it gives it that uh, quilted look which isn't necessarily desirable. So uh, there's another way of doing this instead of just using your regular material we're going to use a projected material. And to make this work I'm just going to draw a rectangle in a horizontal plane and then cover that rectangle with the same material. Okay, And then on that material I'm right clicking I go down to texture and then I tell SketchUp that I want that to be a projected texture. And it says if there's a movie projector up here or a slide projector and it's projecting straight down onto this plane. And then we can make whatever angle this plane is, it happens to be um, a horizontal plane to this vertical lens or vertical bell shape. So we want to apply that projected texture to this. So I've selected everything, every surface in the globe. And then if I choose the little material bucket, hold down the Alt key and sample this projected texture and then dump it on the lens, you can see immediately the difference in the look. It looks more streaked, something like you might see in a custom glass bezel. And when you look straight down on this, object you can see that this texture looks like the I lost it over here. It looks like the texture on our little square which is quite a ways away from the model here. So I'm gonna scooch it over. So you can see when you're looking straight down on the lens and the sheet that uh, that it's the same texture but it just extrudes it out over the shape and gives it a more uh, what I think is a more realistic effect. So we can now get rid of this. That was just a sample. And there we have a translucent bell with a texture projected on it. And um, you can also go into to the edit mode and then change various settings in here. Um, the one that I used initially kind of had a brown or a bronzy look to it. That's how I did that. So that gives you an idea of what that looks like. I'm just throwing the shadows on here. I guess that doesn't really change the look of this too much in this case. But I'll stop the video there now that we have this textured glass bell for our fixture and then um, we'll pick up from here and do the metal fitter, etc.